Hey guys, it's Robin, your Independent Sensi Consultant. Today I'm coming to you with a clearance haul from the most recent Sensi clearance sale. I hope you guys got in on it as well, and if you didn't, stay tuned for the next one because there are some really good deals that usually come up in those. Um, so I also got today in the mail my fall tester kit, a full tester set. Now, we can do this one of two ways. I'm going to make a video with this, and I can either sniff just the fall scents, like the fall and holiday scents that are new to the catalog, or I can sniff through this entire 80 fragrance set if you want. That would be a longer video, but I'll do it if that's what you guys want. So let me know in the comments if you're happy with just the fall and winter scents that are new to the catalog for this season, or if you want me to sniff through this entire thing. Uh, let me know, and majority opinion will rule on that one. So I did pick up a few things in the clearance sale. Um, it was a really fast and furious sale, and there was one thing that I'll get to in there that I wanted to check out quickly because I didn't want it to sell out while I was waiting. So I got one set of the Fiji flower pods, and these are just... I have this in the fragrance flower and I really like it. So it's kind of a fruity floral. I definitely get apple out of this, like a crisp juicy apple, and it is kind of a bright floral note. So it doesn't feel headachey to me as far as florals go. I really like this one and so I'm glad to have a set of pods in it. Also in Fiji Flower I got the laundry liquid. I think this will be really pretty for like especially my clothes and maybe bedding and towels. Um, really pretty. I'm hoping this is the same in laundry as it is in everything else and I think it probably will be. Next I got a new product for me. I have not tried the cream shave soap yet, but I got it in blue agave and melon. And let's see here. It's sealed here, so I can't tell the consistency or anything yet, but I'll let you guys know what I think of this. I'm interested to try it because I like a good shave soap and I do like the blue agave and melon scent. Um, the notes on blue agave and melon I'll put below, but I've had it in wax before and I quite enjoy it. And we seem to have a theme here. This was the summer clearance sale, so we have a lot of Fiji flower and a lot of blue agave and melon. Um, this is the sugar scrub, and I'm not sure if there's a seal on this. I imagine there probably is, but I don't want it to spill on me if there's not. Okay, it's sealed. Yeah, so I can't tell what it looks like, but I'm excited to use this. I have heard that you have to mix the oil and the sugar together, I'm assuming this one will be the same, but I will let you guys know. Next, I got a, another set of the Disney Villains Wax Collection. So you get three Disney Villain bars in this pack. I did have another one in a previous haul video that I unboxed and sniffed with you guys. Um, I really liked all three of them. I haven't warmed any of them yet, so I can't give warm reviews yet. But these were on such a good deal. It was like $12 Canadian for the set of three. So I really had to get another set since I liked them all. So excited to have another set of these. Then I picked up a six pack of bars. So in my set, I got a bar of Mocha Doodle because it is not coming back for the fall catalog. And I can't decide if I want to keep it in my club or not. So I wanted an extra bar just in case I decide to take it out. It's a really nice coffee mixed with like maybe brown sugar, a little bit of chocolate, some cream. Like it's a very, like, imagine like a Starbucks, like caramel macchiato with like all kinds of like chocolate shavings and stuff and whipped cream. This kind of smells like that. It's much more of a hot drink than a coffee scent for me. Um, there is coffee to it, but coffee isn't the main note, I don't think. And this is apple butter frosting. I have not smelled this yet ever, so we we're gonna see. Um, I'll put the notes below. It's nice. It's cinnamon. I almost get like an almond extract note on the on the top here, but not on the bottom. It's more spiced apple and like almond extract for me than it is frosting. Um, but it, there is a sweet vanilla scent to the base as well. So I'm excited to see how this warms. I think this would be nice to mix with a lot of the other fall scents as well. Yeah, this one's interesting. It's very classic, like if you like classic apple cinnamon, apple spice, that sort of thing. I can't see how you'd go wrong with this, so I'm excited to warm this. Next, I got a bar of Paradise Punch because I've not tried it yet and it is retiring at the end of this catalog. Oh, 
I really like this. I wish I had, uh, oh. This smells like, like, tropical punch, like Hawaiian punch. You know that, like, it comes in, like, red, like, it's, I think the brand is Hawaiian punch. It's, like, red tropical punch. This smells like that. Really fruity and candy-ish and sugary. Some, like, pineapple to it. Maybe, like, a hint of papaya, but not nearly as much as in Jet Set Go. I really like this. Juicy and tropical, and I would say pineapple and maybe orange, um, and I can't tell what else, but I'll put the notes below. But overall, it smells like the red Hawaiian punch drink that you can buy at like the grocery store. It's really good. Next, I got a backup bar of watermelon tangerine, because it's not in my club, but I did want another bar just in case it doesn't come back next spring. And the notes on this are watermelon, tangerine, and dewy greens. And this is a really pretty scent. It's watermelon. And there is that balance with the dewy green note. I wouldn't pick mandarin out as a note necessarily, but I think it does add some maybe sweetness and bright like zippiness to it. Yeah, there is like a citrusy note to it. This is a really nicely done scent. I hope this one comes back. Um, it's a good one. Next, I got a bar of aloe water and cucumber. This one's just really pretty, and I think this is a good one to have on hand um, in case you're gonna have like company over. In my um, scent the mood video for companies coming, I had recommended aloe water and cucumber as a good foolproof scent for if you're having people over. And yeah, it's just clean. It doesn't smell, I'm not a person that really likes cucumber scents, so if a scent says it smells like like cucumber melon that's not usually a scent i would like but this one i really like because it's clean and fresh and watery without smelling like cucumber yeah really pretty this would be nice in laundry as well um, it's just clean and fresh and pretty inoffensive i quite like it last i got a bar of berry bright and the notes are below um, I have not smelled this one ever either, but I want to smell it before it goes away so I can decide if I, decide if I want to put it in my club or not. This is so good. Oh my gosh. This smells like a blue snow cone. Yes. That smells like cotton candy and like raspberries. And like vanilla. It's very sweet, very cotton candy, but like berryish as well. I can't wait to warm this. This one might be my favorite of the six. This is fantastic. It smells like a blue snow cone. Like, you know that blue syrup? It smells like that. This is so good. I'm gonna melt this this weekend. I cannot wait. So this might be club worthy for me depending on how it performs, but I really, really like it on cold. So the last thing I got from the clearance sale is the reason that I was in such a rush to check out. And it is the Jack Skellington Pumpkin King Night Before Christmas warmer for Halloween. Oh my gosh, you guys. This one was available last Halloween and I've seen it in Instagram posts and other videos and I love this warmer so I was actually hoping this would come back this fall and based on the Scentsy Family Reunion previews this particular warmer is not coming back this Halloween but there are like this Halloween's lineup you guys oh my gosh I don't know if you guys are also have consultants and have gone to Scentsy Family Reunion but if you haven't the Halloween warmers and the fall warmers are like not much makes me giddy but I got giddy it Oh, do I need four Halloween warmers? No. Am I gonna end up with four? It's a distinct possibility. So here is the little top thing that goes as a decorative piece on top of the warmer. Then you have your dish. I'll show you guys once I get it out of the packaging here. Then we have the styrofoam, which sounds like nails on a chalkboard. And here is the warmer itself. 
super cute. There's my light bulb. I'm gonna plug this in for you guys so you can see it lit. I will be back in a second. Okay, I took the liberty of assuming you guys didn't want to watch me play around with packaging for three minutes. So here he is assembled. Super cute, super Halloween-y. I like all the detail with his little fence and his little top thing here. The dish, how cool is that? And it is a ceramic warmer, which I like too. So I'm gonna turn it on. So cute. I'm gonna turn my ring light off here. Oh my gosh, like seriously, this is so cool. And what does it put on the wall? It puts like a, it's almost like a spooky face maybe, or it's some kind of shape, although I can't determine what. Super cute. I love this. So I feel very lucky to have scored this. I am very excited. Oh, you know what this pattern is? It's the little dog guy. I think his name is Zero from The Nightmare Before Christmas. So very cute. So, so excited to have this warmer. I am pumped. Alrighty, so I will put that back. And yeah, I do use a light for this video in this room because this room on its own doesn't get a lot of natural light anyways. And it is evening now and getting darker, so I have a light going here. And the last thing I got is just a scent circle in PG Flower. And they really went all out on packaging for me here. Um, there we go. Oh, and I got one in blue agave and melon as well. So just a couple scent circles to have on hand. And that is my Scentsy clearance haul for July. So thanks for joining me for this video. Thanks for hanging out. And again, let me know below whether you would like to see just new scents to this catalog for fall or this whole bag of scents because I will uh, do a sniff session with you guys here coming up probably in the next day or two. Let me know below and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks, bye-bye.